St Dunstan in the East, said Julia quietly, looking up. It was rebuilt by Wren, like most of these churches, after the Great Fire of 1666. But they say that his daughter Jane helped him to design it. She's supposed to have gone to the top to lay the last stones when the mason lost his nerve. And when they drew away the scaffolding, she lay down here to show her faith that the tower wouldn't fall. I like to come here. I like to think of her making her way up the tower steps with bricks and a trowel. Ah, well, there we are. A, 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 a female architect written out of history by the patriarchy. Yeah. I think that's the lesson we learned from that, isn't it? I think that's why we're here, isn't it? If only she'd got her history right. Uh, oh, is it wrong? Well, here we are at St Dunstan's in yeah. the east. Uh, it's a lovely spot we've got here. Yeah. We sort of we look up and the planes are going out overhead. Teenagers taking pictures of us. I really recommend <laughs> coming here. It's um, it's a beautiful garden. It's been designed as a sort of wonderful garden. Yeah, in the ruins of the church. In the ruins of the bombed out church. It, the key thing here is that if Christopher Wren's daughter did design this church, she wasn't very good at it. Oh dear. <laughs> because in 1817, it was found that the weight of the nave roof had thrust the walls seven inches out of the perpendicular. It was decided to rebuild the church from the level of the arches, but the state of the structure proved so bad that the whole building was taken down and it was rebuilt to a design in the perpendicular style by David Lang. So it was so badly put together by Christopher Wren's daughter oh that they had to take it down and rebuild it. Oh dear. That's not good, right? <laughs> oh God. So she's made these two women walk all the way across London so she can come here and make, make a, a point, point about Jane Wren. Good job I wasn't there, right? <laughs> that would be a bit of a downer. 